and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. What's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. Today I'm gonna be going over what you should be doing with your coins right now in the most viewed promo. I did do a video that you should have seen already going over what to do to prepare for the next things. These kind of go hand in hand a little bit, but this is more about your coin stack, less about the most feared promo, although we'll include it because we're in the most feared promo, guys. Now, I'm going to be going over, like, the coin stack you want to kind of have, the mistakes you don't want to be making right now, and a little bit of what you should be doing with it, and maybe a few investment tips if they do come about within this video. Now, guys, right now with most feared, it was kind of hard to make coins on the initial drop, because with Madden, with all the make rights and the training and everything they gave out, it kind of screwed up the pricing and the flow of the initial drop of the promo. But obviously, we could work around that because we still have a part two and three, which should be the Scary Sharp and Scary Fast Master sets. At least we hope that's how they'll do it. I hope so, at least. But you got to wait for those, obviously, to really see how this promo could lay out because the first few days were kind of mudded down with all the mistakes they made and the training make rights and prices being too low. As you guys know, the sets are crazy, crazy cheap right now because of that. I'll go over all that as we get into the video, guys. Before we get into the video, Make sure to down below, hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. It'd be greatly appreciated. We're so close to 11K. We're like 500 away, and you guys have been killing with the support. So let's get to 11K as quickly as possible, guys. We're grinding to 20K. That's the next big. Uh, that's the next big mark as a YouTuber. 20K, and then and then we we can, we can keep going from there, guys. But thank you for all the support. Comment down below what you guys are doing with your coins right now. Help out everyone below in the comments, and let's get 250 likes in this video, boys. All my loyal noti gang, loyal daily watchers, smack that like button, show some support, and guys, real quick. I just saw Zombieland 2 like two nights ago. The movie was awesome. If you're a Woody Harrelson fan, guys, really funny movie. Recommend you go watch that. Just had to get that out there. I was thinking about it before I started this video. But let's get into the video. So what I was talking about as far as coins. I'm going to go over this set a little bit because this is where everything pretty much lies. I like I like doing it to the master set because you can see the bulk of the promo right here. We got the Ray Lewis, the Earl Thomas, the Cam Newton, and Tyler Lockett. Do I like any of these players? No. I like Lockett. That's about it. I like Ray Lewis, but I'm saying in the set, I like Lockett. Cam Newton, Errol Thomas, I don't think you I don't think they're recommended holds. Now, the issue with them though is that they're too cheap. If you have them already and you're stuck with them, I wouldn't recommend selling them right now. Because think, think about it. There's two scenarios where you guys win here. First off, I think there's potential for a good bat type thing to use. So could there be a blitz, an end of Halloween night blitz? I think it's possible. A Halloween night blitz. Uh, 5,000 bats for a platinum pack that guarantees you a 82 plus platinum player pull and bats skyrocket to like way like triple their value and these guys go for 350 each possible so I wouldn't sell them they're too low and the reason they're low is pretty much because EA screwed up and they can't get things right see if EA had not given away like 10,000 20,000 100,000 training people wouldn't have had so many so much training to revert back into coins revert back into bats convert over to get these easy pulls plus we have the free house rules plus the solo challenge plus the cauldron solos it made it very easy to get these cards for cheap now two things could happen like I said initially they could drop a bat thing where bats are so rare if you guys remember during the Christmas promo right the initial snow beast like Sam Darnold Saquon uh Hayden Hurst those guys are going for like 230k so cheap I literally bought like 100 of them because I had a feeling that they could go back up a few days later they dropped a snowflake currency set, which allowed you to get presents. And then, no, no, initially they dropped the platinum blitz at midnight. These cards went from 230 to about 450K. I made millions of coins. Then they came back down a few days later and I was like, okay, these are super cheap again. Maybe I should reinvest. So I reinvested when they were back to 230, 260. Then they dropped the present set or whatever. And then they skyrocketed to like 370. I made millions of coins that way. Now, like I said, they can't be this cheap. And it is mathematically can't be this cheap. 92s typically go for between 300 and 450k right now, base. Now you have to understand that the way Madden works with training is that they pretty much all training value dictates the market. So right now they are so below the training value. Now you're gonna say, right, they go for bats, they don't go for training. You're right. But in two weeks and a half, like two and a half weeks, when this promo ends and they revert all the bats into training and these cards get a training value, Unless they screw it this year, these cards are going to be very valuable. Because you have to understand that a card of this caliber with their level of training should go for no less than 350k. But their bats keep them down. 
So when they revert and they quick sell back for training, like the Ed Reeds I always talk about last year during the Christmas promo, they should skyrocket back up to them, the market mean. So I imagine the market for 90 shoes will come down a little bit to like 340. They'll come back up to like 320. And before you know it, they'll be in the middle, right? So if that happens, I think they can only go up. I don't think these cards can go down. So I would not recommend selling them if you have them. Don't think you lost a ton. Hold on to them. And the only one I'd re really end up keeping anyways would be Tyler Lockett. I recommend you keep the other ones. Don't sell anything right now. It's not the time to sell bats. It's just not. What I would recommend is if you see those cards for like below 210, high 190s, really cheap, I'd recommend scooping a few actually. If you guys have the coin stack. Now, a reputable coin stack to go into the second and third part of this, I'd recommend like at least 500k because there will be more master sets, I'd imagine. And the sets usually get better. The first set's like the lowest one. And this, I don't know if they'll increase uh, overalls. I don't think they'll increase overall as much, but it would be cool if the next set master, the next two can get like, oh, the final one can get like a 94 overall. They'll probably end up keeping them even though 93s with 392s. If they do that, it will stay pretty steady. Prices won't be, I think the second set will probably be a higher price and then the market medium will meet them all in the middle at some point. But for the time being, I'd recommend you have a decent coin stack because I'd imagine that this fat, uh, you guys are gonna wanna get a part of the scary fast. Those are typically some overpowered players you can use a part of the meta right now in Madden because speed kills. But I wouldn't recommend you guys going with any less coins than 500k. If you do only 500k though, you could probably only participate in one of them. You won't be able to do the set for both of them. Although I will be dropping videos for you guys when those come out for how to get them for cheap. And if I can get that done for you guys, you could potentially get all nine of these masters for a little less than 400k. It's possible. If you sell the master and you keep the nats, you could actually get six for free. I told you guys what you guys want to be doing as far as with your coins, save them because you're gonna, there's going to be so many opportunities for free nats. I went over in the video yesterday. So potentially, if you guys save your coins right now, right? And they have all three master sets out. You could do all three master sets. You could sell the boss, the master, and you could quick sell one of the nats you don't want, convert those bats back into coins. And then initially, essentially, you get two nats for free per set. So you could take Lockett and Earl Thomas. Let's say in the second set, there was Le'Veon Bell and Ezekiel, uh, Ezekiel Elliott. There's not going to be, but you keep them, you sell the third, pretty much that's the, way that, that's the way that method works. You sell the master, you quick sell one of the nats that you don't want, and you keep the other two. So essentially, you can walk away from this promo with six free nats, potentially, for a little under, maybe six, I'll go with 600k. Six free 92 overall, six 92 overall cards, I shouldn't say free, for under 600k. That depends on if they drop more house rules, if they drop more house rules, that value could decrease, and it could actually be even cheaper, but again, we'd have to see that. So I'd recommend you save your, your coins, because you... What I always say is you don't want to, you don't want to, I don't want to use the wrong words here. I don't want to get, um, pl uh, what's it called? Strike by YouTube for a uh, foul language, but you don't want to go in and just destroy your team. And that's what people do. The first day of the promo, like, oh, all these new cards. Okay. 700k. Let's buy Ray Lewis. Let's buy Lockett. Let's buy Cam Dune. Okay. I'm broke. Put them on the team. Cam them up. Then the strong comes out. Although the speed comes out. I want the speed players. They go in, they're like, okay, sell everything as fast as possible. Sell everything. They lose like 60 to 70K per player they bought. Then like, okay, let's, let's go into the speed. Then the sharp comes out, they're like, oh, I want some of those guys too. Before you know it, you lost like 500K in reduction and just value drops. You end up with almost nothing. And then your team kind of sucks in this promo. Now you have no promo, no coins for the Thanksgiving promo. If you guys play this right and you save your coins and you wait till all the masters are out, guys, I'm telling you, wait till all the masters are out. If you wait... And I'm, I'll drop a fire video for you guys to, to follow. And you could potentially get a bunch of Nat cards for a little under 500k and still make back most of your coins. And you can go, you could leave this promo essentially with like 692 overalls, minimal coin loss, and a fun time. I'm telling you guys, it can be done. Just don't go, don't be hasty. The worst thing a Madden player can ever do in Ultimate is be hasty. People who bought Ray Lewis initially for like 700k and bought these Earl Thomas stuff for like 350, you have a combined loss of like 600k if you did all that. I've seen people who got Ray, uh, Lawrence Taylor the first day. The key of Ultimate Team is always waiting, guys. Just wait, 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 eight, a week. Just wait a week and a half to all the master sets are. Wait till all three are out. Play the landscape. Now, the only thing that could go wrong is if they drop a blitz thing, which in case your bats would go up, which is why I'm saying hold the cards. Don't sell your most feared cards. Hold on to them. And then if the time comes and nothing ever went up, then I'll drop a video. You guys can go over, get your NAT cards, come out free with a lot of coins, and you could sell. And you can sell when the, tra the training converts, and then you have a bunch of coins. No matter what, you can't lose. If you hold your cards at the value, if you get them at the, around this value, you hold them, and then you wait. At minimum, you make you you break even. You break even with some NAT cards, or at best case scenario, you get NAT cards, and then they convert, and then you could try, 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 what's it called sell the guys you had. You could potentially leave with profit and NAT cards. It's doable. It's very doable. That's how I'm playing this promo. As you guys can see, my coin stack hasn't moved too much and i still keep picking up new cards it has not moved much at all i've made a lot of investments which is why it's moved 
but I was able to pick up Ray, uh, Ray Lewis. Once I get my house rules player, I'll sell the, I'll keep the Ray Lewis, get rid of the Nats, convert back into coins. Before you know it, I had Ray Lewis for free almost, like 100k. It's doable, guys. Just make sure you're waiting. Play the patience game. These videos will drop as the week goes on. Wait for the videos from all the content creators. They'll tell you what to do. Just wait on it, guys. Don't go all in. Don't destroy your coin stack because you want to play with them that day. Trust me. You get them that day. They're like, it's every time. You spend all your coins on this player. I can't wait. And then you realize football is a team game. One player doesn't always make or break the team. You get you spend people who bought that Ray Lewis for 600k. If that guy doesn't run to Ray Lewis' side that game or throw anywhere near him, you might never even see him that game. Just wait a few days. Be patient, guys. That's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that noti bell. You guys won't regret it. Let's get to 11k as quickly as possible. If you haven't already, comment down below what you're doing with your coins right now. And make sure to like the video, guys. Let's get this video to 250 likes. If you guys are loyal supporters, you're OGs, you've been around, you're part of the 10k gang. Like the video, show the love, and I'll be announcing the giveaway winners probably tomorrow because I'm going to pull through with thousands of comments. But thank you guys for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.